guys welcome back to my channel so before we get started let's go ahead and address the head scarf i know some of you guys are probably looking like what the hell um my original head scarf which is like a tan and black color which originally is supposed to be white is very very dirty and i decided i was gonna do y'all like that and bring that old dirty head scarf on here so i just kind of fix this up look i am not a head scarf stylist so this is what i came up with um to cover up whatever was going on under here so just try not to focus on it i mean i'm gonna zoom in anyway so you guys won't even see it okay so let's go ahead and get straight into this video today is a makeup tutorial i am going to be using the a measurable difference palette enticed again because I want to try some of these really nice colors in here so I am definitely going to be trying this palette out again so I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer and we're going to go ahead and start with the eyes okay now you guys are really up and close and personal you can see how oily my skin is um today I'm not going to be doing the face um part of my video because I'm doing that in a separate video um it's kind of like a three in one video but it's going to be posted on a separate day so today I'm just going to be doing the eyes and the lips for you guys so I'm going to start off using the LA Girl Pro Concealer um, I'm going to use the color Cool Tan to prime my eyes like I did last time let's see if I can get some of this Okay, so last time I didn't set the concealer and the eyeshadows worked pretty well. I thought it was going to be really gross um, when I was applying it, but it worked out pretty good. So today I'm not going to set the concealer unless you guys want me to do that next time I will. Also, if you guys want to know the list of products that I'm using in my video, I stopped putting that in the description box. So just leave a comment down below if you want to know each product that I'm using, even though I tell you guys in the video. But yeah, just leave a comment down below. So I'm gonna do more of a. Ooh, why am I orange? I'm gonna do more of a like bricky red kind of color today. So I'm just going to use like all of these. Let me show you these red shades here. So the first color I'm gonna start off with is this lighter shade here at the end. Here in the end. So I can use it as a transition color just to kind of see how light this color is. We don't want to go too dark yet. We want to see what we're working with first. So I'm just going to put that kind of in my crease going up towards the brow bone. Okay, so the pigmentation on these are pretty legit. Like, I'm not having any issues with trying to build the color because I only swiped it about two times. And the pigmentation on these guys are like, for real. Like, this is not another review video, but it's this pigmentation is serious. Like, so I just brought that all the way up under the eyebrow because, I mean, why not? Let's just see what we can do. Just feel like right here is just too much color. So now we have that lighter shade down. I'm gonna go in a bit darker, just a little bit darker. I'm gonna take this color here and I'm gonna place that into the crease and smoking it out. Um, just kind of right on top of that lighter shade but not covering it all the way. So I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush and just blend out those two colors like on the edges. The color starts off really intense but they can pale down a little bit. Like once you kind of blend them out with another brush, you can pale it down a little bit. But they're really pretty. Like I haven't used this color before so I was really surprised. I'm gonna go a little bit darker again. 
And I'm going to take this dark brick red, this dark brown red shade there. I used this in my last video. I really love this color. And I'm just going to take it on the tip of this Sincero brush, this L07, L07. And I'm going to focus this color directly into the crease. So this color is not really showing up too much. I don't know. I can't, I don't see anything. So I am just going to go to the next best thing, which is this darker brown here on the end that I used last time. I'm kind of bummed that this color isn't showing up that much. I'm going to see if it works on the lid by itself. Maybe because that other color is just overpowering. I don't know. But it's not showing up as much as the other two. So I'm going to go to that dark brown and see how that does in the crease. So I'm going back in with that brush and I'm going back into that lighter um, red orange color. I'm just going to blend out the dark edges of that brown. Now I'm going to take that same clean fluffy brush and go back into that lighter tone that I used earlier, the first color, and go right up here and just kind of blend out the edges for all the colors. Okay, so I really had to go in with this brush with that um, lighter brick red color because, I don't know, I just wasn't getting that smooth, like, finish that I normally get when I do eyeshadows. So I'm not quite sure if it's the brush that I'm using with the eyeshadow or if it's the eyeshadow or the concealer that I use. But something's just not uh, working with that darker shade and that lighter red tone. But I finally got it close to what I wanted it to be. So I'm just going to pause on this eye and let's finish this eye so we can figure out what we're kind of doing because I have no idea what I'm doing. I am going to take my foundation powder and that same fluffy brush and just go in in the inner corner and just clean that up a little bit. This doesn't add any extra color. It's just cleaning up the inside right in here. I don't like too much color coming in there so that's why I do that. So for the lid, I am going to take this color here. It's really, really pretty, so we're going to see what happens when I place this on the lid. I'm going to do it with a dry brush without spraying the brush and see, oh, it's really smooth when I rub the brush on there. This is the um, Naked 3 brush, and I'm using that flat part, so I'm just going to, oh, it's really pretty. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty, and it's just by itself. So I want to jazz it up just a little. So I'm going to go into this 75 pigment called Express. And this is a really pretty red. So I'm going to take the other side of this brush. And I'm just wiping that part off with the with a baby wipe. So it may be a little damp. Which may work for us because it's a pigment. And they work really well when they're damp. And I'm going to place this just in the center of the eye. On top of the other color. Oh my god. Yep, that is pretty. Just right in the center. Just right, right in the center. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to try some with my finger. Oh, hell yes. Yeah, that is, that's it. I'm just going to brush up here, just kind of clean it up. Um, I know I'm going to have a little transfer because I have a hooded lid. And I must also go back in with this brush to, with that dark brown to kind of deepen the crease just a little bit to define it a little more. I'm not going to go crazy with it. And then I'm going to go back into that fluffy brush and kind of blend it out um, a little bit. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this eye. And then we'll be back 
with the lips okay guys so my face is finished if you want to see how i did my face um for foundation highlight contour you can check out my foundation roots my foundation review on the sephora 10 hour wear foundation and i just showed how i quickly did my face so now i'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes because i did apply lashes off camera um for both videos so i'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes I am going to take, if I can open it, I'm going to take this red shade here and I'm going to place that under the lashes. I'm going to place that at the bottom lashes. I just spray my face with my e.l.f. makeup mist and set because I didn't do that when I did my full face. For my bottom lashes, I'm going to take my mascara by Mary Kay and just get those bottom lashes real quick. Then I'm going to take Black Opal um, Highlighter by Becca and I'm going to place that in the inner corners of my eyes. Now for the lips, which is one of my favorite parts, I'm going to use... This Laura Michelle lip pencil and cabernet. Then I'm going to take the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, and this is in the color Stand Out. Now I'm going to spray my face with the Urban Decay D-Slick Spray. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys love this makeup tutorial and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget guys to click and subscribe to enter into my 1000 subscriber giveaway. It is still happening. We're almost there guys. I'm super, super, super excited. Um, and don't forget to check out my latest uploads. If you have not been waiting to the end of the video to click one of those, you can check out my latest tutorials. And I hope you guys love it. And I can't wait to chat with you guys in my next video. Bye guys.